and actually plug the black wire from the red rack into the red green. Neutral light. Right, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Following on from the last episode where we actually got some power through the bike, which was absolutely fantastic, so pleased. I now need to move on, find out what's uh, the items that aren't working, why they're not working, have I plugged them into the right way, have I plugged them in the wrong way. Again, all part of learning. I've done as much research as I can, but it's difficult, I say, working from that has helped me so much. There is, uh, it's on my Facebook page if you want to prop across there. There's a link in the description to my Facebook page. Uh, you can actually have a look at that and print it off and there's a link to where I got this from. Again, I've always got the manuals with me, which are always a great help. Today we're going to crack on. I need to change the front headlight wires over because I think I've got them around the wrong way because I had low beam on high beam high beam on low beam so that's probably just a quick swap and we're going to look at these clocks the actual clock loom in the center see if the bulbs are working and swap out the left and right indicator because they were working fine on the switch and on the bike but on the actual clock display they were around the wrong way so again easy mistake to make but like I say, I'm going to take this apart and go back in. It'll either be a case of I'll either replace the loom. I am looking uh, at a possibility of another loom, but I want to take this apart first, see if it's just a couple of bulbs. If it's a couple of bulbs, I'll just get some bulbs and, and go from there. Everything else seems to be okay. Uh, front brake switch I need to look at. I think the wires might be the wrong way around. Rear brake light switch is working perfectly. But let's, uh, let's crack on. Right, so the front headlight, I've just swapped these two wires over. The blue that's going into a red-yellow and the green that's going into a black-red. I will put proper connections on this when it actually goes back in properly. So these two, the, the blue was actually going to the red-black. So hopefully, let's have a look. Right, so lights on, that is low beam, high beam, and the pass, and I should, yes, I'm getting the blue light up for high beam. So that's headlight basically done. Let's switch that off. Yeah, that's the next job. Obviously, the left hand side. Is working. Right hand side. So these have got to be swapped over. So let's get this off, take out the uh, ignition. We can fit this one in, because I know now this works properly. And then we can get these bulbs, have a look at these bulbs and see if they're faulty. So should this be a couple of screws, one there, one there. I think there's it, oh, and one in one in there so I'll take this apart and we should be able to lift this top section off and I'll undo the ignition that just unscrews right so that's the back off and the three little screws and the screw for the actual ignition barrel so there's all the bulbs that's the indicator one 
and the other one is oops, sorry got you out of shot there right so that's the neutral headlight uh, oil light and stop lamp indicator and indicator I need to swap them two indicators over and have a look at this bulb and the front console should just pop off <clears throat> yep that just pops out of the way so these two around the wrong way and the ignition barrel I just need to pop through the back and then we can install the new one alright so I've managed to get that indicator bulb out the other one it's just there and then I need to pull this wiring back that is the lead for the actual ignition switch and then I need to move this one over and this one over to the other side then I can get the ignition barrel poked up right that one's now out of the way it's not in a good condition Now I can get the old ignition out. It should be able to. Feed the new one up through. Right, that is now in the right place. So we need to swap these. Bob's over. Right, so I've swapped them two over. Right, so I've got a problem with that bulb. Right, so I've tested the bulb, the bulb works fine. I've just gone back to the wiring diagram again. The green red. Let's bring you up a bit. Right, because I kept looking at the reg reg. So we've got the three yellow wires, the red wire, and a black wire. So I thought I'd plug in a spade plug that in Alright, just tuck that around the back for now and actually plug the black wire from the reg rack into the red green neutral light so I got neutral light left indicator right indicator high beam low beam 
even though that bulb was still lit. Pass. The actual pass uh, beam is working, but we have neutral light. So that these two are both live, which will be for the starter relay. So I think the only one that doesn't go anywhere is this red blue and this other lead from the alternator. Because from the alternator I'm only showing one to the voltage regulator, three to the rectifier, one to the neutral switch and no sign of a red blue but at least we now have a neutral light a high beam light indicator lights in the right place horn pass light tail lights so again making making a bit more progress so let me just put the cover back on this and screw it up from the back 